This is a short video on how to rig up for steelhead float fishing. I'm going to demonstrate this using yellow braided line. That way you can see it a little bit easier. <clears throat> and the first thing you're going to want to do is put on one of these little bobber stops that you can get at any fishing store. You're going to slide that on your main line. This is coming from uh, my float rod. This is the main line. Um, I'm using hydro float on this line, uh, but any kind of braid works well for float fish. And you're going to slide this up your line a little bit, the bobber stop. And uh, what you're going to do is pull it off this way so the black piece comes off and you pull it tight. And then what you're left with is this little little bobber stop on your line. All right. The next thing you're going to do is put on a small bead that also comes with the bobber stop. And uh, it doesn't really matter what color it is. You're going to slide. The bead on next, and you want to remember, bobber stop first, then the bead. It's been a million times I put the little bead on first, and then the bobber stop, and then what ends up happening is the bead doesn't stop your float, so it moves all over the place. The so next thing you're going to want to do is put on your float, or bobber, and this happens to be a Drennan bobber float. And that's pretty much all I use for my float fishing. You're going to slide it on like so. Actually last week I was bobber fishing and I uh, forgot to put my bobber on. So we got bobber stop, bead, bobber. And uh, yeah, it's not very fun when you tie it all up and forget to put the bobber on. So now I'm going to tie on one of these inline sinker weights and uh, it's come in really handy for, for bobber fishing because they got a, a good high quality barrel swivel on each end. So I'm just going to use a, uh, let me remember, I'm not going to really go into depth on the knots I'm using. It's just a basic guide to help you, help you rig up in uh, a few other sections we'll go over which knots to use for different types of rigging. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to tie it up so you see what order everything goes in. So now we have bobber stop, bead, bobber, inline weight. So this is pretty much all you need. Um, at this point, you can cut the little tag end off there. And this way your bobber can float up and down your line. And now, now I'm going to show you how to tie on the leader, which for this little demo, I'm using the same line in this bright yellow so you can see it. I'm going to tie on my hook, which I will be using this is just a little number four owner uh, cutting point hook, which I really like. Pretty much all I use. I am tying a um, egg loop knot. One brain dead. Uh, so you can put on row or you know different types of bait. You use an egg loop. Uh, I'm not really showing you exactly how to tie the knot, and we'll do that in a different section. But uh, you can find that information online at other places. So we've got our egg loop, our hook, and we're going to tie the other end of the leader to the bottom of the inline sinker.
once we have this tied on. Now we have the whole setup here. We've got the bobber stop, the weight, and then the leader to your hook. Now one thing that you're going to want to do at this point is add one little split shot, one or two, uh, to your leader. And this will keep your line from wrapping up on itself. So I'm going to put one halfway down the leader. And uh, there you have it. Now your rod will, your uh, line, once it hits the water, will be pulled straight down. Your bait and your bobber stop, your bobber will all be in line. This is just an example of the finished rig. You can see the swivel, uh, the bobber stop, the bead, the bobber, inline weight, leader to another split shot, and then down to the hook. And that is pretty much all you need to get started fishing for steelhead and salmon using a bobber, which is a very, very effective way to catch steelhead. Another thing I want to show you is when you're float fishing, you want to have your bobber set up, in this case with the drain float, to have the water right up to the orange. That way, as soon as a fish takes it, it goes under the water very quickly, and you know you have a fish on. And once you're done rigging up, this is just an example, but uh, if you're going to be fishing smaller, lower, clear waters, um, like some of the smaller coastal rivers in Oregon, you're going to want to use a smaller bobber, especially when the water gets lower. And then what you'll do is you'll downsize instead of using the, uh, the inline sinker, that's a 3 8 um, you can just use a, a barrel swivel and put one split shot above it. And then uh, on your leader, you can have another small split shot. And that's when you go to downsize. Same thing, if you want to use a bigger bobber for salmon fishing, you put the bigger bobber on, bigger inline weight, and then uh, a couple bigger slinkies to keep it vertical going through the water. So that should help you get started in uh, steelhead and salmon float fishing. Good luck out there.